Hi Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm getting the name Peter all of a sudden. Peter. Pete, Peter. What's going on? Peter Munn or something? Alright, something is coming in because you have the moon under the deck. Joyce tells me hidden things, secrets, something coming in. Got the world ending. It's funny because these two, they have their back towards us. But yet, when something shows up, it's going to come in as the full energy. It's going to be new. Um, so I feel like you may be an old yell. I'm not surprised to see the Ten of Wands, the Four of Coins, with the Star Cards. Some of you are manifesting right now really hard. You're in this hangman energy that's under the deck. You feel like things aren't working out possibly, or the Ten of Coins, you feel weighed down. Maybe some of you are looking for love, manifesting love here. So I feel like maybe you are praying for it, or yeah, it doesn't have to be love, because a Star Card means whatever you're manifesting. So it's kind of like that break in between when things, you know, things don't really happen till they're like meant to. So you, the moon and the six of wands, I'm telling you, there's something that's going to come in. You've been manifesting this. It could be uh, right after the new year. Wow. A breakthrough. Some of you, you may get your big lucky break coming up here and probably it's going to be some sort of work and it could be online. It could be if you like are on camera, people may be seeing you more and like if your blog gets noticed, your YouTube channel gets noticed, something like that as well. So maybe you want to be a star. You may want to be on you know, in television or on the television or uh, be in movies. Maybe you want to become an actor or actress. I do see that happening for somebody here in 2023. I feel like you're holding on to like, you know, wanting a star on the Walk of Fame or something like that. Um, you may be discovered. So maybe some of you want uh, to be a model. Maybe you have a talent agent or something, agency you're working with or something like that. That may definitely be happening for you if that is your dream. But this is Two of Swords. Otherwise, it is work. I, just, I do see that specific thing here. But otherwise, it could be love. But it actually looks more like something else that you've been manifesting more in the material world. Could be an earth sign who is heartbroken. This is what's in the hidden position. So there could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with business qualities or something, that money, somebody who may be actually missing you that you may know. Or you, well, you may not know because it's in the hidden position. High Priestess, I'm thinking maybe you feel it in your intuition. But, and then the world card. Wow. So I'm getting. This is your lucky break. Under the deck is the strength card. I feel like you've done work. So remember I said the seven coins, it's, it's work put in, it's effort put in, whether it's learning something or manifesting or whatever it is. And there's somebody telling you, you're going to get your big lucky break. You've been waiting for a while. So maybe, maybe you've been waiting for years, possibly even maybe you've given up. You may have left somebody in the past. Maybe this person who's in the hidden position. I don't feel like this is the person who's going to give you the opportunity, but it could be. I feel like maybe you're thinking about going back to this person. Maybe you're giving up on your dreams or something, your hopes here. What is this king of coin? Maybe this person has been disappointed for you. Maybe they're your biggest fan and they want you to succeed. Oh, this person may be the person that helps you. Maybe they're going to give you a good idea. I don't get a sinister energy off of them because they're actually kind of looking up at you like they may be heartbroken for you. They want you to succeed and be successful. What is the star card? The devil, okay. Yep. I'm getting that you have been um, very maybe almost obsessed with your goal, almost obsessed with this, with what you wanted. Maybe it's been denied for a long time. Like you've been trying and trying and trying to get this opportunity or this job or whatever this is. Maybe you don't win the lotto or something. I just like the, the devil here is like you've obsessed about it until the point that you manifested it. And it's going to bring you in a lot of happiness. It's, this is your 10 of cups. This is what you feel would make you really happy. So it's different for everyone. And it could actually be a home. Some of you, this um, job or career <clears throat> opportunity is going to bring you in a lot of money and you can purchase the home you want, where you want. Uh, for some of you, it's like in the hills is what I'm seeing. But um, 
Yeah. This Capricorn also though, I feel like this may be a Capricorn here also involved in your reading who maybe they're going to offer you some sort of help. So I'm also getting that this person may come in and try to see if they can help you. I don't feel like you want this person's help though. Like you would rather get this opportunity that you're getting. So I kind of feel like there is a, like an opportunity to fall back on. Let's call it that. So you could fall back on this opportunity here, this King of Pentacles, but I don't think you really want to. I think you feel kind of like they're controlling. This could be a parent. You know, I don't, I don't think they're doing it out of like evil. I just feel like they, <clears throat> like if you could stay with them, they'd be happy. And I think they're saying you can come live with me as well. Something like that. You know, you can come stay with me and, and but you're not going to need to do that. So I don't think this person has been working against you. Well, you guys don't definitely don't see eye to eye. They may have given you an ultimatum about work. It feels a little bit like a parent there. And it doesn't have to be, but it's kind of feeling like you put your foot down. You said, no, this is what I'm going to manifest. So let's go to your opportunity because I do see you getting your big lucky break here. I do with the Tower of Three of Coins and the Page of Swords. I do see you getting this offer. So what is this offer? What is this Ace of Coins? It could be somebody from the past. It could be something that you really no, never told anybody about with the Seven of Swords. Or you may not be telling people now. You may be collecting royalty payments or checks or something in the future as well. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. I feel like you just, I feel like you didn't give up on something. There was something here that you wanted and you wanted it for a long time and you're, you're going to finally get it. You may keep it secret or people don't know that, that you have do, been doing this in the past. It feels a little bit sketchy. I have to, I'm going to have to admit that it feels a little sketchy. So buyer beware, you know, beware just, but I think it's maybe you that you did something like, I know this is sounds going to sound weird. Something you did in your past, maybe making money for you now. And the first thing that kind of comes to mind is like a sex tape or porn or something like that. Like something you did secretly when you were younger, not like a child, nothing. Just in your past, maybe something you did something and now it's paying off. I keep thinking, I keep seeing like Kim Kardashian. Like I feel like this whole reading kind of has that, that vibe about like how she became a star overnight or with her sex tape with Ray J. And it's kind of like... Um, Something maybe like maybe you have old modeling pictures, you know, when you're, you know, obviously 18 and older. I'm not talking about anything else, um, but there's something here and maybe you look a little, little younger than you really are. But I know for most of you, that's not going to resonate. I know for one person that's going to resonate because I always get the emails of the person who like says that was me. So it has to be a different way for the others of you. There's something that maybe okay, I'm also getting someone learned a second language and you people don't know that you speak a different language and that you can actually understand what people are saying about you or talking about um, if they're talking about you but something in your past was kept secret and now it's making you money you may have done it's like selling pictures of feet online i don't know i mean it could be anything maybe some people do tarot and keep it you know quiet they don't want people to know um Hmm. It's an interesting reading because it almost feels like something else and I'm getting different things because it kind of depends on like some people may just be like, oh, don't get involved in the stock market. Oh, don't. Oh, an unexpected came out. Yeah. Unexpected action, knowledge. That's what I'm seeing here. You took action to gain some sort of knowledge, maybe in the past, you know something, and now it's going to pay off. So look at it that way as well. It's like you maybe you took some classes or you learned something or you know about something, your past experience, experiences. It could be a, a bad childhood. If you had a childhood and you have some wounds from that or you learn from that and you can help other people now with that, possibly something like that, um, you could get a payday. I'm sorry, I have to sneeze down. But <coughs> pardon me. Okay. This is actually a really <coughs> good reading. I'm sorry. <clears throat> the... Uh, Rain has come and gone here, and now everything I think is blooming. I've noticed things are causing my allergies to 
have to have. What is unexpected? Yes, five of swords, something in your favor. I'm getting, <laughs> lovers, I am definitely getting whoever this is, whatever, okay. I'm gonna even bring this back into the reading. It could be this situation with this person. Somebody may be that you do know coming back around to offer you something, a place to live. But I think you're doing this on your own. I think it's something else you've acquired, some sort of knowledge. But Five of Swords is your energy. And I feel like some of you are moving out of a house into your own home. And it could be an apartment, a condo, whatever you're renting. It doesn't mean you're necessarily buying something right away. But it's like, yes, I feel like you are pursuing this and you're getting what you want. And that Five of Swords, when it's you, it's always to me like a yes card. Like, I conquered everything and my demons. You don't have to slay anyone or take anyone down. And like that, to me, it's just like a personal card of getting past all the fears um, and taking action. A lot of people don't even, you know, do that in their lifetime. So I see you moving in or moving down the way or getting your own home. Like I said, I do see you being able to buy a home, a dream home, a dream location, because I do see you making some money. And again, no judgment here, however you're making this money, as long as it's legal and not hurting anyone. Uh, why not with the devil? Just, I think maybe some people might frown upon it, maybe in your family or something but you may not tell them, but I do see you getting paid big time. And it could be as simple as, you know, dancing on TikTok. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't want people to know you're doing something like that. So again, no judgment here. So do what you gotta do because you have the knowledge. So take the action and the outcome is gonna be probably not what you expect. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be money. Money that could lead to, again, travel, purchasing a home, this is your dream and I'm getting big time. Like your dream is manifesting. 2023 will be your year. What else does Sagittarius need to know? There may have been some interference in the past, but you're gonna take this leap of faith. So interference could be again, like I said, parents, uh, friends, your job, getting in the way, but take this leap of faith and go for it because it's gonna pay off big time. I kind of give for some of you, you're gonna be asked to write a book about something that you do know, your your history, your life, or something like that. Um, and it's gonna pay well, because you have knowledge. Your, your, your knowledge is gonna, uh, some of you travel too, like maybe you travel or you go in RVs or like you have knowledge that is, you unexpectedly could make money from too, but again, it's, it could be a job as well, a pay raise, um, a big promotion. It's big. So again, look at it from that angle. It's, I don't think it's going to be small. I think it's something that's going to be somewhat life-changing for you guys as well. Someone else got that. Was that Leo? I don't know who got that. All right, I'm going to leave it there. You guys have a great week.